Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. I wanna to show you what this is and how you use it. All right, friends, this is a carpenter's pencil. You can see it's not like a regular pencil. It has a rectangular piece of lead throughout the whole thing. So it's not just a bigger pencil with a cylinder, a cylindrical piece of lead. It is a rectangular piece of lead inside this. So these are fantastic for using on the job site or for um, marking out things that need a big dark line on them. They're not great for woodworking. I don't like these for woodworking at all. But what they really excel at is for roofing, for marking out on concrete, for siding, for framing, all that type of stuff. So the way you use this, you're not going to need a pencil sharpener like the old Not like that. You need a knife. So take a knife, this knife I made a long time ago, just for little things. It doesn't have a really big point. It's more of a cutting edge here. So you take your knife and you can just shave off, kind of like you're whittling. I don't know if anybody even whittles anymore, but just like you're whittling away to that point. I don't know if you can see, I'm kind of pushing with my thumbs. I'm not just getting after it there. I'm doing a controlled pushing maneuver with my thumbs. Now, some people like to get down to a point. It depends on what I'm doing, what kind of carpentry or construction I'm doing. Most of the time, I'll leave them like that. This is not for trim work. This is for concrete or framing or siding or something of that nature. So I don't need just a really fine tip. I want a bigger area that's not going to break off real easy. Okay, so there you go. There's a carpenter pencil. That's how you sharpen it. Now you know, and you know what they say, knowing's half the battle. Yeah, they say that. I don't know who says it anymore, but they do. So hey, make sure you work hard because hard work is its own reward. And thanks for watching.